Okay, welcome back. This is now the second video in the U9 comparing height distribution task. We're just going to be going through some of the skills for how to do the um, Excel tasks. You'll be working through the assignment and obviously writing uh, other sections in your own words. All right, so in particular, uh, we want to sort, we're going to sort the data. Now, last video, we did, uh, we tidied the data. So we made sure that these numbers uh, were just numbers and no formulas. We cleaned out all the um, errors with the centimeters. So we're, we're now in a good position to actually go and do this. Now I've got um, three tabs. Okay, let's go I'll put that one there. The survey data is the one I'm gonna work in. And this one's just here. This is a um, copy of the original data with the, um, with the cleaning done. Um, this is just here in case I stuff up the other data and I can't retrieve it. So I've got another sheet um, that's um, got data in it. So this one is the one I'm going to work with. All right. Now, one thing you have to do is write the names of the teachers in alphabetical order. Now, because uh, we have tiles here, so it's Miss Patrick's, Mr. Banks. So Miss comes before Mr. and um, Mrs. comes last. So really, the only thing that's in alphabetical order in terms of last names are uh, the male teachers. So you have uh, Miss Patrick, um, Miss being unmarried, and Mrs. Thatcher being a married uh, title. Um, and we have Mr. Banks, Mr. Dib, and Mr. Padman. <clears throat> uh, I think, Ms. nope, that's fine. All right, so if you wanted to get rid of those titles, let's do a find and replace, and we can actually see if we can find another way of go about doing this. Um, so let's go and um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go and copy out all the data and because I'm actually going to get two sets of this. Um, I already have my original one here, so if I ever make a mistake. So I'm going to sort this one by um, the teacher's last names without the titles, and I'm going to do another one where I sort by the heights. So we do the heights in order. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on A, press Shift, and click on D. Now you've got everything there. Um, because I've gone and cleaned up all the data, including removing formulas, I can just go and paste that and a control V paste and we're good. All right, we'll do with that one in a minute. For now, let's go and we're going to do a um, press control F for a find and replace and click on the replace. All right, so what I want to do is I want to find all the myths and I'm going to replace with absolutely nothing. Uh, actually, let's put a miss and a space because that's going to bring up. So let's see what happens. Let's just find. Okay, so we can see it's found Miss Patrick, Miss Patrick, Miss Patrick. Okay, now uh, replace with. Okay, within, yeah, let's just do sheets. So it's only going to change the ones here, not in the original, in case we stuff this up. All right, so it seems like we found Miss Patrick. Yep, we've only found Miss Patrick. Okay, so Miss and a space. So that little space between Miss and Patrick is also included in the find and it's going to be replaced with nothing at all. Let's go replace all and see what happens. See now it's Patrick. Okay, let's do the same with Mr. Mr. Space, replace with absolutely nothing. Replace all. Thanks, Dib. Last one, Mrs. Again, Mrs. with a space on the end. Replace with absolutely nothing. Okay. All right. So now we just have the last name without the title. Okay. Now, if we want to sort these in order, a um, couple little things we have to do. All right. Uh, all right. The most convenient way of doing this is um, I'm going to go and copy this over. So click on the click on B. Copy it over somewhere like E. Okay. Oops. No, I don't want all of it. I just wanted B. One sec. Okay, let's go and copy. Go to E, paste it there, just for a placeholder. And then I'm going to get rid of it. Actually, no, that's sorry. Wrong one. Okay. Let's go. I want. I need to move basically teacher to the left hand side of the student number. So I'm going to copy that one over over here. Okay. And then I'm going to delete A by clicking on A and clicking down to delete. Okay, so now we've got everything we had before. It's now the teachers on the left-hand side and, um, and all the other ones on the right-hand side. So when we go and highlight all of these, and we're going to click up here and we're going to go to sort and filter. Okay, so we sort ascending A to Z. 
Okay, now they're in order of the teacher's names. Okay, now you notice that all the other ones have updated as well. If you go and check, like you might take a, um, a low number. Let's see, what's a low student number? Yeah, okay, student number one. Okay, well, you can check here, student number one, and check to see if they have the same um, height and um, teacher and um, distance to belly button. It should work. Okay, we're going to do something similar here. We're going to move height to the left, and we're going to delete it here. Okay, because another one they ask you to do is sort all the data by height. Okay, so we go here, there, and we're going to, okay, gonna go again, sort and filter, smallest to largest, boom. So now you've got all the students in all the year nine classes in terms of ordered by height. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that is how you go about doing these um, uh, uh, orderings, okay. So I'm going to end this video here. Next time we'll go through mean, median, and mode.